Hi there and welcome back to Dorset Scouser's Garage. Um, I just had a few thoughts on some of the latest news that's been developing about uh, emissions and uh, global warming and, and electric cars and driverless cars and, and all the technology that's coming through. Uh, obviously for a, uh, an enthusiast like myself, like a lot of other people out there, certainly people on YouTube who have channels about cars, um, this is really bad news. Um, the government here in the UK, are they have targets, um, which I don't think are strong enough, but um, they need to be uh, carbon neutral by 2050. They are banning the sale of all diesel and petrol cars, I think, in 2040, um, which is, isn't going far enough in terms of climate change and that sort of thing. Um, so this is, this is somewhat a confused video. Um, I'm in two minds. Um, I, I mean, I want to carry on driving, doing my driving rather than doing a driverless car. Um, I'd love to have an electric vehicle, but it simply isn't practical. Um, I live in a flat and I'm a second floor flat, so I can't dangle a big power lead down to charge my car every night. Potentially I could charge it at work, um, but I do cover long distances as well. Um, at the moment, my work is, is eight miles, um, so a round trip of 15, 16 miles each day. Um, so an electric car will be ideal for that, but I do travel quite a bit further afield when I'm doing photography or going on, um, going on walks and just going places at the weekend. So an electric car wouldn't really be ideal for that. Um, but at the same time, I love, I love my Honda, um, as I'm sure you've probably worked out on this channel. Um, obviously, it's not the most e economic of cars. Um, it certainly puts out more emissions than, than modern cars. I do pay for that in tax. Um, luckily, I, I got the car. Uh, it's the 1999 model and anything up to anything sold before 2006, I think it was, it falls under a lower tax bracket, even though the emissions are the same. So I pay about £350 a year in tax. Um, models from 2006 onwards, they, they pay 540 or something upwards, uh, at least £500 in tax. Um, so in a way, I feel feel better about my myself for, for paying it in terms of tax. Um, and I do my fair share of, of recycling and whenever I go to the beach, I do my litter picking and that sort of thing. So I, I, I like to think that I'm sort of evening it out a little bit. Um, I do run two vehicles, so I run the van as well for longer distances, which again isn't particularly um, e economical. Um, if I did have the space and, and the money and the resources, I'd probably go, buy a little little run round, which I would, I would use for commuting, um, and the Honda would just be for, for kind of leisure drives and, and for the weekend. Um, but as I say, the rules and restrictions are getting, uh, they seem to be getting more and more strict. Um, and that is a real shame for enthusiasts like me. Um, I love driving the car and quite soon it could potentially be, be outlawed or taken off the road. Certainly the, the language that um, the government and, and, and environmental action groups seem to be taking is that these cars need to be taken off the road. Um, whether that includes classic cars or not, I'm not sure. Um, I'd regard the Honda as a classic, maybe a modern classic, but in terms of the, um, in the tax grading, the MOTs, uh, in the UK, if a car is, is 40 years old or older, it then, it then is classified as a classic. So I've got another 20 years to wait with the Honda, um, and potentially in 20 years' time, uh, the government will not allow a car like that on the road because of the emissions, because of the fact that I'm driving it rather than a computer. Um, it's, it's a long way off, but, but techni technology does, does um, accelerate increasingly and, and, and soon enough we will have driverless cars on the road um, and emission standards are getting more and more strict. Um, but at the same time, I can completely understand it. I, I do worry about the state of the planet and the fact that nobody really seems to be doing anything drastic enough to, to stop climate change. It's, it's obviously happening. Uh, there are still some climate change doubters, but... The weather is getting more and more extreme. I'm sitting here on in the middle of June um, in 2019 and it's been freezing cold and chucking it down all day and we've just had unseasonably cold weather. Obviously you would say global warming, oh that isn't that isn't true because it's not warming the earth. It, it's it's a different I'm going too much into climate change here, but it's 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 a different way of measuring things. It's much more extreme weather. Last year, this time last year, we had um, probably six weeks with basically no rain and 25, 30 degree temperatures, degrees Celsius, uh, which is unheard of in the UK. Um, sadly, I didn't have the Honda at that point. I bought it in July, so I didn't quite get to enjoy the summer as much as I could. Um, but yeah, it, we are getting more and more serious weather patterns. Um, and I can completely understand 
taking off, taking out cars that are more polluting and vans that are more polluting. Um, but there are other ways that we could look at, 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 at um, reducing emissions. Uh, air travel is a big contributor. Um, the uh, agricultural industry, um, there are so many, there's so much livestock which contributes to that. Um, again, there's the whole vegetarianism and veganism movement, um, which I'm, 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 I'm a meat eater and, and don't, don't foresee that changing anytime soon. But um, yeah, I'm conflicted. It is difficult. I, I do drive a car that is more polluting and more disturbing than others. It's in terms of fuel economy. I, I, I mean, I do. I like to accelerate. I like to get up to sixty miles an hour as quickly as possible. But I average about thirty-five miles to the gallon out of that car, and that that according to the manufacturer's specs, and that that is measured at the pump. It isn't. It doesn't have a, a, a um, an economy computer on it as such. It's measured by the number of miles per gallon of fuel that I put in. Um, so it's quite an accurate measurement, I think. Um, but yeah, 35 miles to the gallon. If I'm careful, I can push 40, um, which isn't really what the car is for. But at the same time, if I was to buy a massive 4x4 hybrid thing that is is going to be um, <laughs> is, is lauded as the next big thing in terms of hybrid vehicles, like, I don't know, Mitsubishi Outlander, FEV or whatever they're called, or, or, or any of the new kind of Lexus models or the Audis that are coming up, the, the, the Tronics, um, th these hybrid vehicles and these electric videos, vehicles as well, uh, all, all cars are getting bigger and bigger. So your SUV is far bigger than, than what my car is. Your SUV in my way, two, two and a half tons. My Honda weighs 1.2 tons. So there's less weight to shift around. But with the bigger hybrids, you, you are only going to get maximum about 40 miles to the gallon. And it's usually just one person driving around in them. So as much as they might think they're saving the planet, they're still using as much fuel. And new cars have a huge carbon footprint. I, I, I couldn't... I, Ten years ago, I used to love the idea of having a brand new car, but, but I've always had used cars. Um, I started out with, with, um, well, with three Suzuki Swifts, rather, unoriginally. So I had a 2000 and, um, 2006 Suzuki Swift 1.5, and then I had the Swift Sport, the, the, um, the first generation of the Swift Sport. And then I got the second generation of the Swift Sport, so the one that has just been replaced by the third generation. Um, great little cars, fun little runarounds, quite small, nippy, not a massive amount of power. Um, but yeah, good little, good little cars for the, for the money that I paid for them. I've, I've had two um, VW vans and I've also had the Honda, so I haven't had that many, many cars. But they've all been used cars. So the Honda's 20 years old. The van that I got, um, the VW T4 I had was, was 19 years old when I got it. The van that I got now is now nine years old. Um, but as long as you maintain them and, and you keep, keep them, rather than sending them off to scrap, keep them running. Um, for the sake of not having to buy a new car every three years and, and put all of the energy into all the steel and all the, all the engine components and, and all the batteries that go into these hybrid cars and electric cars, which is thousands and thousands of tons of, of CO2, millions of tons of CO2 in total overall. Um, I think that the car industry is is a big contributor to that. It's not people driving older cars that is contributing a, a, so much. It is people buying new cars every every two or three years on the the higher purchase deals and the the loans and and things that they can't really afford. But that's a whole different topic. Um, I love having a used car. I love the I love I love I love the fact that it's mine, and I love the fact that I can maintain it and I know it through and through. I'm not just driving some some box with wheels that has got loads of computers and loads of electronics and, and no feel through the steering and has been made to be efficient and uh, economical and uh, yeah just tick all the boxes and that that doesn't appeal to me um, but yeah I've, I've probably offended and insulted a load of people now um, but yeah I am as I say going back to the subject of the video I am conflicted because it is it is a big issue um, certainly in the next 20 or 30 years God knows what's going to happen to, to the, the climate and the environment. Sea levels are going to rise. And if we, if we don't do anything now about it, then, then there's a real issue. But at the same time, I don't want to give up my car. So <laughs> it's, it's an interesting issue. I'd like to see what you think about it. Um, give me a comment below. Um, be, su be sure to subscribe. I'll be doing more of these sort of vlogs um, either here in my flat or when I'm just driving around, I'll be recording things and, and a, a basic kind of brain fart and, and put my ideas down into these long winded videos. Um, so if you like them and if you agree with them or if you disagree with them and you want to write a comment, um, 
give the video a like or subscribe to the channel and I will see you in a future video very soon.